G'day. This particular integral obviously does not involve trig functions and it's not a power of x. It is in fact something to a power of x which is an exponential form. But sadly it's not e to the power x. And this particular kind of integral disturbs lots of students. I want to show you what to do with it to solve it fairly quickly. To solve it, we need to replace this 5 with an e. And we need to do that, we need to understand something. 5 is the same as e to the log 5. For that matter, it's the same as log of e to the 5, for the simple reason that exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverse functions. And this undoes that, or this undoes that. So 5 equals 5, 5 equals 5. Which substitution will be useful for us? It'll be this one. You just need to know this trick, that any number, if you want to convert it into an exponential, is the exponential of the logarithm of that number. So this would become, replacing the 5 with e to the log 5, all to the power x, dx. So all we've done now is replace that 5 using our knowledge of inverse functions. When you have a power of a power of e, you multiply the powers. So this is the same as the integral of e to the log 5 times x dx. Now we've succeeded in converting this exponential into an exponential involving e, which is our preferred form. Now how do we perform it? We could substitute u for that, but I think you're seeing by now that for a lot of these simple ones I'm trying to follow a, a pattern. And the pattern is this, that if you are e to a function of x, then, well, let's write this out, we want in our pattern to have the derivative of this here. Now the derivative of that, since log 5 is just a constant, it's just like 2x or 3x or 7x, the derivative of this is log 5. And of course, to compensate for putting that number there, we divide by log 5 out the front, or multiply by 1 over log 5. Of course, that times that is 1, and again, multiplying by 1 makes no difference to the value of the integral. Therefore, we get 1 over log 5, and the integral of this is just that function, plus c. Now, of course, because this is, this is a fraction multiplied by this, I can write one, 1 times the exponential over the log 5, so I put the log 5 on the bottom. And remember, exponential to the logarithm of 5 is worth 5, so it's just back to our 5 to the power x. Remember, the x remains. We've just changed that back into a 5. So slightly unusual, a slightly nasty little kind of integral. As long as you understand how to use your reciproc or your inverse functions, you should be right. And if you memorise this pattern, you'll realise the a, a useful pattern to work on is that some number like 29 to the x dx, when you integrate it is going to look exactly like this does, 29 to the x on log 29 plus c. Now again, you can go through this process. It's very worthwhile doing, by the way, a few times to practice these kinds of conversions and substitutions. But it's also worthwhile memorising this particular pattern. I've just realised that plus c is probably off the side of your field of view there at the moment, um, but 
that kind of pattern is worth memorising for future reference. Thank you for watching.